do we pray to a God, which means different things to different people. We will touch on that in just a second. If God, and most people believe that God knows everything, that is everything, that God is everywhere. Most religions believe this. If that is your thought, why do we get into a, a situation, let's say you're a new flyer and you get on an airplane for the first time and you're just so nervous and you're, you're up there and you're getting some turbulence and uh, you know we just hold on to the seat and we go, oh, please God, please, please, don't let anything happen. Or if we're in some kind of financial stress, uh, or we're stressed out about a relationship, or all these different things, we, 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 we just pray to God, please help us. If we think about that for a moment and pull this down, doesn't that seem just a tad bit selfish? Like, just really a little selfish. Like, why would God, who knows everything already, why would he listen to that anyway? It sounds like a little bit of babiness. It sounds like we are, once again, egocentric. Oh, please do something for me. Do do something for me. Please do something for me. Whatever this something is, I, I, I know, please. Please, I, I won't do this other bad thing if you please do this for me. God knows all things, the beginning and the end. We believe, as in many of you believe, that God is in everything. That we are an expression of the earth, the cosmos, and the infinite intelligence, God himself. How can we not be? We came from the earth. We eat products from the earth. Our bodies are constantly evolving and changing and spitting out new uh, old cells and making new cells. We're totally fluid. And we are these, these receptors of this consciousness, all of us, a little slice of, of the infinite. This is not a discussion on how to pray. Let's just think about it if you yourself are the Alpha and Omega. Is it necessary for you to listen to someone pray about something you already know? Is God a God that says, mm, I need you to come kneel before me. I need you to come beg me for this. And I already know that you need it. Not so sure that's the kind of God uh, worthy of prayer. How about practicing? This is just a suggestion to try to clear your mind. You know what you need. You know you need emotional support. You know you need love. You know you need uh, new tires on your <laughs> truck. You, you know your dogs need to stop barking. <laughs> well, we don't need to pray about all these things because they're already known. What we can do is suggest with an open heart that we're going to consciously do our best to allow things to happen in their time. We have been given this body, we've been given this ability to critically think that we're going to use ourselves in such a manner to better our lives every day we possibly can. And when we get stuck in a bad spot, we're going to figure that out. We're going to continue to be thankful that the infinite intelligence is at our back, that it is the wind in our sail, that we're not taking that for granted. We're also not going to pretend to be or actually be mental and emotional babies to just beg, 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 beg. That seems as an insult to yourself and to 
everything that you love and every fiber, which is, I would consider a lot, for the infinite intelligence to absorb that I've given you these tools, I've given you this body, I've given you the ability to think, I've given you all of this, let's use it. Ask for calm. Allow me to be calm. Talk to yourself. Close your eyes. Imagine yourself finding solutions. Imagine yourself knowing the way out of it. Think, is this problem going to be the same next month as it is now? If I slowly take care of this issue, will it be the same a year from now, five years from now, ten years from now? The answer is no. Most problems we have right now are going to be totally irrelevant to us in a year. I think it means to be wise, to think for ourselves. The infinite gave us all the faculties to use. He, some say she, knows what you need, so tap into that. Be open and receptive to what comes. Be open and receptive to your processing from your mind and heart connection to know the next steps. Or at least to have less doubt about what it is you're moving toward. Not to pray in vain. Oh, me, 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 me. A lot of us have been guilty of that, are responsible for that. Say, I don't like to, to use the word guilty. I'm, I'm responsible for it. And I'm responsible for continuing to use that word when I want it out of my vocabulary. Uh, so take that into con to consideration whenever you're praying. God already knows everything. Be open and receptive. Have an open, warm heart. Invite the power into you so you can find the solutions to your issues. And that is just one of the small topics that we talk about uh, here, which is not so small, but they are many, and they are discussed every Sunday at 1.30 here at the Mystics of Texas. Thank you for joining us. Come out and see us if you can.